Welcome back to Rusty's Roundup 2021. It's back and the league is full. Guaranteeing the prize money of £500, £300, £100 for the league, £500, £200 for the Champions League, £200, £100 for the Europa League, £200, £100 for the FA Cup and the draw has now taken place and been uploaded to the group. You can find it under the files tab at the top and our new competition, Manager of the Month, where you can win this exclusive not-for-sale T-shirt. Good luck, and let battle commence. I've also uploaded the calendar to the Facebook group, highlighting what's happening and when, but most importantly, the first five rounds are the remaining qualifying for the Champions League, with six spots remaining. Welcome to all new players, and good luck to all. As promised, Whoever earned the most tickets gets their entry fee refunded. So well done to Tony Bagley. Thanks for all your promoting. Now for the draw. And the other player getting a refund is... Tony Knott. Congratulations, Tony. So without further ado, let's look at the games from round one. The Olympic Stadium plays host to our first game of the new season. Whilst we can't place too much stock in friendlies, West Ham seem to be in the better form. With three straight wins before losing 5-3 to Bournemouth last time out. Newcastle started well beating Crewe, then Barnsley before losing 5-1 to Middlesbrough and then to Stoke. The previous three here have seen the Irons score exactly two goals in each, but only victorious once, with Newcastle winning 3-2 both times. Home win. The Saints have chosen not to engage in any friendlies ahead of the trip to Sellers Park for their opening game of the season. Crystal Palace are four without loss from their four friendlies, drawing last time out against Danish side Bromby. The last three here have all gone Southampton's way without reply, so I'm back in the Saints, but they could regret not playing any minutes prior to kickoff. With just two pre-season games under their belts, Premier League relegates Bournemouth host Blackburn Saturday, uh, Saturday in the Championship, who are without loss from their four games, one of which was a competitive fixture in the EFL Cup. Can the Addicts get off to a flyer in their pursuit of a Premier League return? Home win. Norwich seem to have gotten off to a poor start after crashing out of the EFL Cup in their visit to Luton last weekend. This weekend they travelled to Huddersfield, who also went out Saturday. The Kirklees Stadium is a relative fortress when facing Norwich though, who've only won twice here from their previous nine visits. Home win. Loftus Road is the venue for the penultimate fixture of the first round as QPR prepare to host Nottingham. Another side avoiding, avoiding pre-season action, QPR have gone for local derbies in their friendlies, although got knocked out of the cup last weekend too. They do seem to know where the back of the net is though, scoring eight goals across those four games. Although untested, Nottingham travel well here, winning four of the last five visits. So a way win. Derby managed to scrape through on penalties after non-league Barrow held them to a goalless draw Saturday. So not off to the best start ahead of hosting Reading, who comfortably won against Colchester 3-1 to progress themselves. History may be on the Rams' side as they've won three of the last four here though, with at least three goals scoring, being scored in each. Home win. Don't forget, now's the time to enter your prediction ahead of, that, ahead of Saturday's kickoff. Thanks to, for watching. Hashtag, I didn't forget Jeff.